Well, not a surprise, really. Tickets for Pullen Park's Holiday Express are sold out, but it didn't come with some issues again. Some families say they waited for hours today after the ticketing site went down. Yeah, CBS 17's Mariah Ellis is live at Pullen Park tonight. And Mariah, you spoke with families who sat in the queue all morning. Yeah, guys, and I do want to point out in my hand, I did just receive an update from City Parks, who actually tells me that they got an update, a statement from the vendor who was in charge of the system with the tickets that you'll see. And they said that really it was uh, sporadic errors that were detected during the checkout process that required them to limit the number of people who were in that queue and pause the system. Now, people who did get a ticket say all this came with a lot of trouble. It's a beloved attraction in Raleigh, bringing families jumping on board at Pullen Park. You guys done the train before? We have. Yeah, we have. We were just on it's our way to so get tickets. It's so fun. <laughs> but come December, families say this ride will transform into a magical festive wonderland, kicking off holiday traditions and a mad dash to get a lucky spot on board. A lot of my coworkers come every year with their kids, but they just say it's so crazy trying to even get tickets. Last year, we um, jumped on as fast as we could the first day that everything opened. We still have not been able to go, but I've heard wonderful things. Families say the stress and anxiety to get a ticket this December only growing when the city kicked off sales Wednesday at 9 a.m. Some jumping online as early as 8.45 and met with this notification. I just saw everybody waiting, trying to get into the queue, even like to get online. The city of Raleigh noting the pause due to a glitch in the online system, informing families in queue to wait. For some, that meant a couple hours. <laughs> would you wait a couple hours to get tickets? I don't know if I would do that. <laughs> Honestly, I mean, Taylor Swift tickets, sure, I'll do that. <laughs> maybe not, maybe not for this. Well, I've been through that with a lot of concerts, so, you know, um, I mean, if it's worth it to them, it's, it's worth the wait. Working with the online vendor, the city let families know they resolved the issue just before noon, with tickets selling out shortly after. It comes after some customers experienced a glitch last season when the system didn't process certain payments. And actually, like going to the box office over here and getting a ticket, that might be easier instead of like trying to hustle bustle online and yeah, yeah and not knowing like the whole uncertainty of it. Now, the city is also reminding people not to purchase those tickets from a third party. They said sometimes they may be fraudulent and often they can't always validate them. And Raleigh Mariah Ellis, CBS 17 News. All right, Mariah, thanks so much.